Okay guys, let's make some soap. This is the specialty soap I'm making for my Facebook group and you can find the private group in the link in the description below. We're going to make an acai bowl inspired soap with dragon fruit and the fragrance for this is so good. I cannot wait to see the finished product. So again, these are an opportunity for me to play around a little bit with some of my recipes and to get a little more creative working in very small batches. Let's go ahead and put the lye solution into our oils. Again, this one is right at the rim. We're going to be cutting it close to pour it, but I didn't want to use another container and I'm just going to go ahead and do it today. to be a little bit thick, um, thicker than I would typically because I'm going to do two layers and I also have um, a good bit of goat milk in here so that's kind of helping to thicken it. I haven't put any fragrance or anything in yet. I'm going to do that once I separate it, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, so we're at about the same now. And I can't believe I didn't lose any of that batter working with this small container. So the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna make one of them a really purple, kind of a pinkish purple, and that's going to be the dragon fruit inspired portion of this with the acai. The whole soap will look a little bit like an acai bowl, I'm hoping, when I'm finished. And then this portion is going to be um, white, so it will also have poppy seeds in it, like the inside of a dragon fruit. I have a lot of embeds to put on top that I'll share with you as I go along. So right now we're going to add in our fragrance. And this fragrance is a dragon fruit popsicle type fragrance, and it is delicious. Really, really good. Okay, so we'll add half in here. And I'm going to wait to do the other half until I'm ready to work with that. So we'll mix up the white first. And I am going to pulse this because I'm using titanium dioxide and that needs to be pulsed through to make sure everything mixes. Get a paper towel here for my spatula. Oh my gosh, I can just smell this already. Okay, so we're going to add in a little bit of titanium dioxide mixed with one of my so some of my soap oils and see how white we can get this. I want it to be pretty white. I use a lot of olive oil in my soap, so it can tend to be a little bit yellow, a little dark, but that's okay. <laughs> So that's pretty good. That's going to be layer one. And then our next layer is going to be this purple, which is so, so good. So we're gonna put the rest of our oil in that. And mix that through. I haven't worked with this fragrance before, so we'll see how the soap reacts, but I think it's going to be okay. Next month, I'll be making a cactus-inspired soap, which will have little cacti on top. So each soap will have a little cactus with a blossom on top, and that fragrance, I don't know which one I like better. They're both so good. Sometimes you take a chance ordering fragrances, and you don't know. So I have a mixture of two colors here. I have um, the Purple Vibrance from Nurture Soap and um, a little bit of Purple Playdate from Wholesale Supplies. 
and I want it to be a little more pink than purple. So I'm just gonna play with this and see how much I want to add. And then I'll pulse it through. Okay, I want it to be a little darker than that. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little more color in. over there and now we're gonna go back to the white move that over and we're gonna add some poppy seeds to it so the poppy seeds are going to create that texture it'll give a little exfoliation and it makes it look a little bit more like the inside of dragon fruit Fragrance is behaving really nicely actually with this and I want to get this one in here so it can set up a little bit before I add the purple because I don't really want the purple to break through um, this layer but if it does that's certainly it's okay but I'm going to try to do it so that it doesn't so we're working with two molds here and I just have the molds marked according to how I want to put the embeds when I cut them so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of do an even layer, even-ish layer in both of these. This will be for sale in our April Facebook group sale. It's a private group, so you need to um, just click on it and then I will add you. And it's really just um, a group for my customers to, it's a group of women really, to um, just enjoy one another's company, to have a sale once a week, but we also do things like challenges. We're doing a 100 day challenge right now for fitness, nutrition, wellness overall. And that can include skincare, but there are other goals involved in wellness. And we're on day 22, I think today is the day I have to check in with them and host our updates. So I'm going to let these sit for a minute and then we'll come back um, when I think they're good and set up and I'm going to add the purple in. And the purple is really good and thick right now, which is good because I kind of want to be able to spoon it on top really lightly and then just smooth it out. So this is kind of the acai bowl portion. So you can see it's not breaking through. I'm just smoothing it. So I had to wait until it thickened a little bit. I also want it thick so that I can texturize the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to just drag some of this over. Now I've got some embeds I want to add. I'm going to do that. Kind of cleaning as we go, cleaning the counter, cleaning all of this. Makes it easier when we're done. Okay, so this I haven't done before and I'm just kind of trying it with you guys as we go along. I'm gonna turn these this way so you can see maybe a little bit better. And what I have is um, some cold process kiwi soap that I've just kind of sliced up because I don't have little tiny molds to make this. So. These are big round kiwi soaps. And I think what I wanna do is I want the kiwi to kind of just be, I'm not gonna use the kiwi first as, well, yeah. We'll put the kiwi kind of here. So I want each bar to have a good slice of kiwi and then I will also probably have some extras that I'll add back in when I'm done. But um, each bar will have a nice slice of kiwi fruit soap. Every soap has um, a little bit of a kiwi slice in it and now I'm going to add the dragon fruit. I have a bunch of dragon fruit scented cold process soap with some um, glycerin soap on the outside. So we're going to kind of just almost like sprinkle these around here.
my one of the bars that I just made of my goat milk, unscented goat milk soap, and I made I just sliced it up so it looks like coconut. I'm just gonna kind of put that on either side of this. Poke them in. These are supposed to look kind of a little bit random, like I just sprinkle coconut on the top. Okay, so the very last thing I wanna do with this is just give it um, a tiny dash of poppy seed along the edge. A little bit of top exfoliation to kind of tie the bottom in. And finally, we'll give it a spritz with some alcohol. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of sparkle, just because that's what I do. This is it. This is our acai bowl inspired soap with the kiwi and coconut and dragon fruit in two layers. And tomorrow I will be back to go ahead and cut this soap and I will show you what it looks like. So now we're going to cut the dragon fruit acai bowl soap and see how it looks. Okay, so this is a thin bar on the end. I'm gonna take that off first. Okay, so you can see the layer of like the dragon fruit soap and then the acai layer and then you've got coconut pieces and kiwi and all kinds of fun things on top. There's one. Another one. See the kiwi slice really well on that one. So again, these will be for sale in the Facebook group. The link is in the description below. So you can find them there. There's a little sparkle on top. And next month I'll be doing a cactus inspired soap with a really good fragrance and little cactus soaps on top with blossoms, just one in bed. I think it'll look really cool. And that I'm actually going to, it's so thin, I'm gonna make that into a soap ball for my gratitude soap. That'll be a good soap ball. It's kinda, that's kinda cool looking though. I hate to mash that up into a soap ball. Okay. obviously not in boxes. They're a little bit wider. They wouldn't fit my boxes anyway. Um, so I will shrink wrap them individually. It's just fun to kind of play around with things and create a theme each month. So that's what I plan to do for the remainder of 2019. Let's see how it goes. So come on over to the Facebook group and join us. So that's it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe.